There is an experimental heart surgery that can save a baby's life before it's even born. The procedure is risky for both the mother and her unborn child. The Las Vegas family took that chance to give baby Adonis a chance at life. Fox 5's Tiana Bonner sat down with the family and their doctor, paving the way in Nevada. Baby Adonis had hypoplastic left heart syndrome, meaning he wasn't pumping enough blood while growing in his mother's womb. A surgery for this type of heart condition had never been done in this state until now. First reaction, it was like shock because I was told I couldn't have kids. Call it a late Christmas miracle. December 26, Daniel Turpin found out she was pregnant. Whenever it started to settle in is whenever my tummy got bigger and it was a dream the entire time. Danielle and her husband Wilson Baez began dreaming of their first child. At 19 weeks, the soon to be parents went in for a routine checkup. They learned it was a boy, but also got some unexpected news. They noticed something was off and they didn't tell us what it was. Like we're the type of people that were like, just give it to us straight, don't sugarcoat anything, we want to know. After a series of tests, they got their answer. It was a very severe heart defect, um, it was like hypoplastic left, side, left heart. The left side of their baby's heart was too small. And on top of that, an additional high risk complication. A wall in the heart was restricting blood returning from the lungs. There is zero chance at 26 weeks that a baby could be delivered with this problem and survive. Dr. John Alexander at the Children's Heart Center was tasked with telling the family. Their baby would need to undergo a highly specialized surgery before he was even born. We had everything to gain and nothing to lose by doing it. But the procedure is only performed at a few cardiac centers nationwide for a reason. This could be it and you could wake up and you no longer will be pregnant anymore. The surgery requires precision. OBGYN surgeon Dr. Joseph Adeshek needed to put a needle through Danielle's abdomen and uterus so that a cardiologist could put a stent in the heart's left chamber. A fetal heart is just the size of a thumbnail. And it had to be in the exact angle. So not only does it have to be in the right place, the heart, but the exact angle to go in the right place. Danielle understood the risks, but knew there was no other option if she wanted to someday meet her son. He's strong, and I knew he was strong inside me, like you could feel it. She put trust in me, which made me just want it more than ever to be successful. The surgery was a success. You know, many times, we have to give the bad news, but there's nothing we can do to make a difference. So that's why it was such a highlight for me, because I actually felt like I made a difference this time. Ah! At term, doctors delivered Daniel's baby by C-section. Adonis Rain Baez, born August 22nd, six pounds, 13 ounces. You hear him crying when he first came out, it's like, He's good, he's doing good. I swear that's the most beautiful sound in the world. After birth, Adonis was rushed to his first of three open heart surgeries. His doctors say Adonis will never be cured, but at two months old, his parents say Adonis has the kind of strength you only read about in Greek legends. For us to keep him and know that he has this, is just, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know, like we'll, we know he'll make through everything. You still nursing? Yeah. Baby Adonis, yeah. a fighter before he could even open his eyes. This baby knows that he's supposed to be with us and he wants to live, like he wants to be here so bad and he's doing everything that he can. And I just spoke to Adonis' parents. They shared some new pictures with us and they say he's doing well. His second heart surgery will be in the spring and we'll be sure to keep you updated on his progress. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.